one of my favorite tools for doing it yourself alignment is toe plates. And these are just plates that you put on either side of the car and you measure the toe in or toe out of the tires. And uh, this is my favorite tool because it's so easy. All right, so as you can see, there's a plate that rests against the wheel. And we have a tape measure in the front of the wheel and a tape measure in the back. And if we walk around to the other side of the car, you'll see we have another one resting against the wheel. And so what are we doing here? We are measuring the distance between the front of this wheel and the front of that wheel and the back of this wheel and the back of that wheel. And then we compare the two to see where the tire is pointing. So what you do is you pull both of these through the slot like that and like that. And if you notice, this one in the front was reading a shorter distance than the one in the back. We can do that again. Closer to 72 inches there. Now what does this indicate? This indicates that the wheels are pointing inwards by about 1 16th of an inch. And so what I would do at this point is I would go in there and adjust the tie rods and uh, push both the wheels out. For adjusting your tie rod, this is a BMW, and BMW likes to make things harder than they have to be. So let's go in here and take a look at what they're doing. For the BMW tie rod, you have this locking bolt right here in the middle of my screen. And then you have your tie rod right here. And so you need to loosen this before you can move your tie rod. Now, if you're in a normal car, like any other car, they usually just have a locking nut right here. You loosen the locking nut and then you can adjust your toe with this. And so in our case, because we want more toe out because the car is slightly towed in, we'd loosen this and then we'd uh, turn this this way to push the tire out. And it's a very slight adjustment. It's probably less than half a turn each side. But, but because our steering wheel is straight, we would want to make an even adjustment to both sides. That is matching this side with, with that side so that if we go too far, we can quantify it and bring it back and also keep our wheel straight. So I showed you how to measure toe in the front on this car. And I'm starting with this because this is the most common alignment that people get. They go to the alignment shop, the alignment shop adjusts your toe, and then they send you out the door. And so if you have toe plates, you can save yourself a bundle of money. And the good thing about this is with, with these modern cars with the strut type front suspensions, you can't really adjust the camber, you can't really adjust the caster. So you just start with, with toe, and that's all that most people need to adjust. Uh, when you're talking about my race cars, then I'm gonna have to get into the caster and camber adjustment, but we'll do that in some videos down the line. So what is the negative part about these toe plates? These toe plates don't reference the direction of the vehicle. So you may set your alignment with these toe plates, drive down the road, and realize that your steering wheel is turned to the uh, right or to the left, and you'll have to uh, adjust both tie rods to bring your wheels back straight when the wheel is pointing forward. And so that is the downside of the toe plates. So do I always use toe plates? No, I don't. When I am setting up a car for the first time, I do not use toe plates. But I will have to explain that in another video. And I will have to explain my other tools in another video because alignment is a very involved process and not I'm not gonna be able to fit everything in one video. So that is it for now. These are These are toe plates. Next up, I will show you my camber and caster tool. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And also, if I don't explain something enough, just leave a comment and I can make videos like this uh, that people request. So thank you for watching and make sure that you enjoy your car.